the Netherlands, one of the least racist places on earth for 11 months of the year, so that for the 12th month, they can dress up in blackface and march in the racist parade. Now, before you go typing triggered STFU Shapiro with Disney Tracistis, stay tuned because I actually kind of agree with you. Now, if you're new to this whole Svartapit thing, yes, there is a Dutch tradition of marching around town in blackface once a year. And yes, it is a tradition that has to be respected. It's as old as the Dutch tradition of totally ignoring any involvement in the Atlantic slave trade. But no, the blackface is not intended to be racist. As countless Dutch people will explain to you, Zwarte Piet, Black Piet is not black. It's just the soot from coming down the chimney. The magical African chimney, which gets soot all over his face and none on his clothes. Now, to outsiders, this makes no sense. But that's the key word, outsiders. We don't know what it was like to grow up here. Because maybe there was some toxic chemical in the face paint applied to millions of Dutch children over generations. And this toxic chemical must have had mind-altering properties. It can lead to blindness to the fact that Svartapit is clearly meant to be African and mass collective delusion that he's got soot on his face from coming down the chimney, which 90% of modern Dutch homes don't even have. And trying to point out any of this to the average Dutch adult is a lot like trying to convince a five-year-old that Sinterklaas isn't real. Now, some people are saying Svarte Piet is racist and it should disappear. I say, just let it keep evolving. It's not like Dutch people haven't changed awkward traditions before. Like, here's an experiment. Ask any Dutch people, what do you call these? And most people will say, Negerzoenen, which is odd because the box simply says Zoenen. They're referring to the box the way it appeared over 15 years ago when Negerzoenen was the common term. Now, Zoon means kiss, and Neger, it's not what you think. It's not like Americans say it. It is Neger, it means something completely different it means black person. But the company changed the name because someone realized that the term Negerzunen might be offensive, in fact, alienating an entire demographic of potential customers. But the point is, so many Dutch people still call them Negerzunen. And do you know who knows this? The supermarket Albert Heijn, because they have come out with a product called Negenzoete. Negen meaning nine, and zoete meaning sweet. It's just negen zoete. It's not neger zoenen. That would be racist. But if you're a little bit racist and you still call them neger zoenen, you know where to look. In fact, lots of new ad campaigns are updating their Svartapit marketing, like CC. You see, it's an orange soda, so why not update Svartapit into an orange? Same character, but now no one is offended. And... Albert Heijn's supermarket is like, hey, we sell oranges too. So they came up with this. They tried. They really tried. But in 2017, something truly radical happened. In Amsterdam, they said, if he's black from coming down the chimney, what if we just put soot on his face and no more blackface? Soot face Pete. It seems like a common sense answer that might put an end to this entire debate. But now there's a backlash against the soot on the face because it's not enough of a disguise. The children can still recognize me. I mean, for soot on the face to be a real disguise, you would need something else. Something like a beard. Something exactly like a beard. Kind of like the one that Sinterklaas is already wearing. But the black one would probably be cheaper. Dutch people. How are you not seeing this? The answer is right in front of you. And it's not cast peat. It's not rainbow peat. It's not strope waffle skin disease peat. The answer is hipster peat. Put a beard on him and this whole debate can be over. Or now you can write triggered STFU Shapiro. <laughs>